I am Irish Magno, Olympic boxer qualifier and three years House of Shots player. This is a continuing coverage of boxing in the 30th Southeast Asian Games. And this sport is going to be an exclusive matchup for all of the participating countries. We start with women's boxing. And of course, the host country, the Philippines, setting out one of their treasured bets to compete. Already the second section of our first day of boxing competitions. Uh, we've had seven fights so far. So now we're in our second session, and this is the first of uh, six fights in store for us in this particular session. And we've seen Irish Magno, now introduced, 28 years old. She is a two-time Southeast Asian Games campaigner. Took the bronze in uh, 2013, took the silver in 2015. Women's boxing not in the calendar in 2017, so now hoping to get the gold medal in uh, this competition. That's Irish Magno. Magno from Iloilo, and uh, she's fondly called Ai. Hopefully the Eye of the Storm for Philippine boxing fans really puts on a show. And of course the uh, Amateur Boxing Association of the Philippines in high spirits, with the Philippines now being their hosts. And the guests now from Singapore of course looking to be root guests as they compete in the 30th Southeast Asian Games. 33 years old, Hui Leona. She took the bronze medal in the 2015 Southeast Asian Games. So both these competitors are podium finishers in previous Southeast Asian Games. But here's an interesting twist. In the 2018 Compulsory Cup in Indonesia, Hui Leona battled Irish Magno and lost on a 5-0 verdict. So this is a chance for redemption and vengeance for Hui Leona in this rematch coming a year later. Irish Magno of the Philippines, 28 years old versus a veteran Hui Leona, 33 years old in this matchup. In the women's flyweight category, 51 kilograms, there are six competitors in this division. We are now in the quarterfinals directly. So whoever wins this fight is guaranteed of a bronze medal in the semifinals. That's why the growth of their games is so important because they always meet in other tournaments, may it be the Asian Championships, sometimes even the World Championships. And uh, it's a small world for amateur boxing and these women already know each other. That's true, familiarity can breed contempt, however. And in this particular matchup, uh, there's certainly some uh, animosity between these two fighters, especially the part of Hui Leona, considering that she lost to Irish Magno by an embarrassing 5-0 shutout in their first meeting last year. Now our judges from Sri Lanka, Japan, Chinese Taipei, Indonesia and South Korea, our referee is from Malaysia. Three rounds of boxing, three minutes each. It's gender equality. That's the same distance in men's boxing. Here we go. Irish Magno in the red trunks, we do not in the blue, including their headgear. Both of them fighting orthodox style. Magno comes firing away. Crossing Hui Leona to back off Wu. Great connection up top for the Filipino. And it's important, James, that uh, the fighters establish superiority right from the start. They need a strong start, especially since we're only going three rounds, three minutes each. Fighters exchanging blows in the middle of the ring. There's Irish Magno in the red and Hui Leona in the blue. Attacking is Magno, showing a little more aggressiveness here. Forcing Hui Leona to counter. So far it's uh, Magno with that in and out style, firing two three punch combinations, Chris, and then stepping out of harm's way. Connects again with that left hook, she steps back. Two minutes remaining now in the very first round. Nice connection there by Irish Magno, and also nice back step to avoid the punch coming from Hui Leona. What we notice here is Magno is scoring punches in combinations. Mm -hmm. So not waiting for Hui Leona to get back offensively, but throwing one-two combinations. That time, 
A left to the head and a right to the body in combination. Williona, no reply. Leona, though, trying to bob and weave her way inside the defense with the footwork of Irish Magno, allowing her to keep at the safe distance. Right? This is she's comfortable with. Tries to connect with a counter, but barely graces her opponent. Leona again now, measuring the distance, but great step in and a one-two for Magno. And notice the way Magno darts in and out. As she comes in, connects with the combination, she moves back before Hui Leona is able to regroup and throw a counter. Hui though is liking that left hook to the body that she throws whenever uh, Magno throws that right straight. And there's Magno once again showing a lot of aggressiveness, pinning Hui Leona to the ropes and uh, putting her on the defensive. Uh, early on the speed of Magno on full display versus Hui. You can see Hui already breathing through the mouth, but look at that, still fighting hard, trying to corner the Filipina. All about being competitive in this uh, first round as Magno establishing her presence, establishing her dominance and superiority right from the onset. 20 seconds remaining in the very first round. You know, at this point, we unable to adjust, unable to rethink her strategy. Should she counter? Should she, in should she initiate? And right now she's on the receiving end of repeated attacks coming from Irish Magno, a dominant fighter from the Philippines. This is with a combination to end the very first round. On round number one as we begin the second round now. Again, three rounds, three minutes, generate quality like you mentioned. <laughs> but uh, women are still wearing their headgear, so there is no equality in that respect. <laughs> Men already have uh, taken off their headgear for uh, men's boxing starting the 2016 Rio Olympics. But uh, same kind of scoring now we're witnessing uh, in men's and women's boxing. So it's three rounds of action. Five judges are scoring on a 10-point must system. Ooh, simultaneous connection there. But you can see the start of the second round. Who is trying to set the pace? But look at Magno, countering that again. Great hook to the body, going body-head body, mixing up her combinations. I think the combinations of Irish Magno really setting the, uh, the tempo for this, uh, for this round as we really unable to launch any kind of uh, offensive consistency because uh, her focus is really on defense. She's been able, she's been trying to protect herself from the constant attacks of uh, Irish Magno, not able to unleash the combinations or the counter punches that she needs to do while uh, Irish Magno comes closer. Accurate uh, counter punch, left hook to the top. Oh, but great jab by Hui Leona connects. Makes that head snap up just a little. And I think it's important for Hui Leona that as Irish Magno comes in, she needs to be prepared to throw punches. And she can't really wait for Magno to come charging in and for her to counter punch. She has to beat Irish Magno to the punch, but right now, it's not happening. She's strapped along the ropes. Irish Magno oh, connecting eats. repeatedly. <laughs> eats that flurry coming from the Filipina. Coming up on a minute remaining here in round number two. And right now, it's complete domination on the part of Irish Magno as we Leona just not able to launch any successful counter-attack to stop this assault launched by Irish Magda. Magda step and jab followed by that right straight, so lethal. And then a little step back. And we trying to clinch up, oh, but powerful right hook to the top. And catching uh, Hui Leona off balance, so I think she needs to be able to put her feet squarely on the canvas. Otherwise, it might cause a knockdown and a good hit coming from Irish Magno. Trying to fake her way inside, Hui Leona, with under 30 seconds remaining in the second round. But after that aggressive start by Leona, it's Irish Magno again countering and setting the pace. Coming up on the 10 second warning here in round number two. A tentative combination on the part of Hui Leona as Irish Magno continuing to put pressure on uh, Leona. That ends the second round, convincing compared to if your opponent is hitting you. It makes, it makes you step back, snap back a little bit, just like what 
Irish Michael has been doing in the past two rounds. Round number three now beginning. That's right. Those are telling blows that need to be connected for them to be cleanly scored by the five judges. And again, in amateur boxing, it's important that you show domination, that you hit the target areas squarely and cleanly. You show good technique. You show competitiveness. And you also stay within the bounds of the rules. Technical superiority, very important in amateur boxing. Especially in a 10-point must system now being employed here in these Southeast Asian Games. You can see we trying to counter every time that uh, Magno is trying to step in. But again, not enough sting. And if you get hit like that, it's trouble. Irish Magno finding an easy target here as we Leona really not able to show the kind of defense you need to stop a rampaging Irish Magda from connecting close range. Magda again connects with the right hook. She's done an excellent job mixing and matching her offense, going body, head, body, or head, body, head. It's rarely the same uh, combination. And once again on the attack is Irish Magda. Her style has been very consistent from the start, pushing uh, Hui back, putting a lot of pressure on Hui, and not allowing Hui any sort of space or distance to counter. And again, a shot, a left hand coming from Irish Magda, Ooh. and another left hand to the face of Hui. Hui tries to fight back yeah. with a three-punch combination. A lot of those blows of Hui landing on the gloves of Irish Magda. At that time, nice connection with the right hand by Hui Leona. About a minute left in this fight. He is really trying to uh, fight back now. You can you can hear trying to put more snap and sting in those punches, but could be a case of too little, too late with under a minute remaining now. Referee stopping the action momentarily just to make sure that there is no interference from the audience in terms of shouting instructions. Well, look at this. Trying to corner. Hui. And that has been Digging to the, the body. tenor of this fight. All pressure coming from Irish Mang, the total aggressiveness. And Hui Leona forced to fight defensively. And, you know, in boxing, you need offense. It's good to have defense so you don't get hit. But you score points only when you land punches. It's not when you stop punches. Oh, what a nice combination. Once more and another. Those are three straight right-hand shots to the jaw of Hui Leona. A razzling, dazzling finish. Oh, what a way to end the fight. With a flourish, Irish Magno. This should be an easy, unanimous decision victory for the Filipina. The right combination, just to throw off the rhythm of her opponent. And that's the coaching staff of uh, Irish Mag Magno, Boy Velasco and Reynaldo Galido. Galido. A gold medalist in the 1994 Hiroshima Asian Games. 28 years old, Irish Magno. As I mentioned, won the bronze before, won the silver, now hoping for a gold. This will make it official. And there it is. Irish Magno.